Hi, I'm Gloria Simino, and I'm the founder and director of Drawbridge, an arts program for homeless children, and also Harambi Arts. Gloria, can you tell me a little bit about Drawbridge? Drawbridge is an arts program for homeless children. We bring high quality art materials into shelters and we give children the experience of feeling really heard and really safe. And through art, we develop a relationship with them that's meaningful and healthy. Can you tell me how many children you've helped through the course of your work at Drawbridge? We're, we've served about 10,000 children total. You started this organization almost 19 years ago, and it's been, Drawbridge has been very successful, and yet you're moving on and you're making a change. Was there a moment when you knew you had to make a change? I started Drawbridge because I love children, and I worked with children for the first two or three years of the organization's history, and then I became the fundraiser, the administrator, the manager, um, the PR person, and I haven't really worked directly with children for about 15 years. So I've been looking for a way to move out of the organization for a long time. But you've also formed a new company, a new foundation, actually. Yes. Can you talk to me a little bit about Harambe Arts? Sure. Um, I started to travel to Africa in 2000, and I've been going very regularly, particularly over the last four years, twice a year. And I set up a few programs, mostly for children affected by HIV, uh, made some contacts, um, had many, many requests for training to, do, to learn how to deepen communication skills with children. And that's my gift. I'm very good at both creating trust with children and teaching other people how to do it. Over the past six months, I set up, um, really started to set up the organization and the infrastructure and so forth, and now I'm ready to go. Does one person really make a difference? Well, my goal right now is to, be tra is to train other people who can train other people who can train other people, and I'm very, very focused on this. Um, I know I have a lot to share, and the, the women who I've worked with in Africa are so capable and so bright, and they're already training the next generation. So I see it in practice. You're leaving a secure job, a foundation that you've built, to jump into the unknown. Doesn't that scare you? I am terrified and I'm ecstatic. So it's a combination of many things, really. So how do you balance that fear and, and excitement? I do a lot of uh, meditation and quiet work with myself. I talk to myself as my own best friend. I have a lot of faith. I'm doing my life's work. So what about money? Do you worry about it? Oh, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to ask. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I worry about it. But I don't, um, I don't obsess about it. And again, I, I know I'll be taken care of. I'm not afraid of being a bag lady. How do you measure your own success? In my heart. I measure my success by, um, well, my own self-respect, my own integrity, and listening to, to myself and knowing I'm doing the right thing. I'm knowing I'm pursuing my passion and doing the work that I have to do in this lifetime. Gloria, you're a very glamorous humanitarian, and I know looking good and feeling good is also important to you. And yet you're working in, in countries that don't necessarily have a spa around the corner. How do you maintain your outward beauty? I take care of myself and I find out where I can get a manicure and where I can get a massage. And I make sure to stay in a hotel as much of the time as I can with a big bathtub that hopefully will have hot water or at least water. And I bring some cute clothes and I wear them. Do you mind telling us how old you are? So do I, am I supposed to tell the truth? Yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 60 years old and I'm really proud of it.